Hi, it's Nicky Lennox back for another one for this evening. And today we're looking at Crunchpan Linux Lite. Now it's the Lite version because it doesn't come with hardly any apps whatsoever, unlike most of the other uh, ones we deal with. So basically you've just got the bare minimum of everything. So I'll show you a little bit up here. So how much RAM we're using. Let's just use 256. We've got half a gig swap. How much disk we're using? As you notice, only 1.73 gig for the installation, so that's nice and small. There's some shortcuts here. So apart from that, nice and clean. A bit dark for me, but hey, who cares? Let's have a butchers. Right, if we right click the desktop, you get some options. So you've got the web browser, so we're going to go straight into that. It's Firefox, go straight to the home page. Nice and clean, nice and quick. I do like this because it is very quick. Go to their wiki. It tells you all about it. Um, I'll even do one for the EPC. Whether the wireless works is another thing. But hey, we live in hope, don't we, chaps? So anyway, we're going to change the page. And what should we do tonight? I don't know. We'll look at CNN for a change. That's the first time I've looked at CNN for quite a while. It's full of stuff. Doesn't really apply to me living in the UK, but it's nice to see what's going on in the States, which is quite a bit most of the time. But it all comes up nice, it loads nice and quick. The old Fox does work nice and quick in this distro. So we'll close that down. I'm going to right click again, and I'll show you a bit through it. These are the terminal apps which you run from terminal, and they're all pretty basic. So I'll open Mutt up, which is their email client and it runs from text. So basically when this comes up you have to create your own folders and just follow the instructions and off you go. It does work. And next we'll have a look at... let's have a see... Media Player. Now as standard it comes with VLC which is a pretty good choice actually. As you know VLC covers most things so that's a good one. It works you will have to install some codecs, obviously, if you want to play DVDs, etc. Because it doesn't come with any codecs. We'll go down a bit further. Let's turn my apps again. I don't know why I did that, but I just did. We'll try again. Places. Usual places. Preferences. You can edit all the parts of the operating system. This is Conky and Openbox here. So if you click on Openbox, you can edit it from there and reconfigure the GUI if you really want to, if you're actually into that. But at least if you're playing with it, you can have a little play. If it goes wrong, just reload it, not a problem. Gives you access to all the other stuff there too. Right. I've actually had to install some programs to run because there nothing is there to install. So for WordPress, you know, just put in Abbey Word. Put it in the run program and whoosh, it really comes up quick. Now normally here, I would say, well, let's see what it saves to. Or I'm not going to bother today because I know it saves to everything. This is the most current version, so you won't have any problem. But also what I'm going to do is a little experiment. I'm going to leave it open and see how much this little distro can hold while it's running. So I'm going to open up Skype, which is another one I installed. There you go. I'm not going to put anything in there, but I'm going to leave the program running. So it's using the RAM and the swap and the CPU. Now Skype tends to use quite a bit sometimes, in Linux at least, so we leave it open. Right, next I've to install GIMP. They're all really easy to install, just go to Synaptic and they download as usual. Nice quick, it's 2.6. It's a bit awkward on this black background though I did find, so we might have to change that later, but I think I'll do that near the end. That's pretty quick for GIMP. It's only using 256 RAM, remember. I'm not using 512 as I normally would. Comes up nice. Everything's there you need for GIMP. What I'm going to do now is minimise all that. There we go. And there we have four windows open now. We're using 127 RAM, which ain't too bad really. So, next, what shall we open? Hmm. We'll do run program again. 
Uh, next one we're going to run is a rhythm box which I had to install. So if you're going to have music, you know, something to play it with properly. So rhythm box is the option I would choose. It is comes up nice and quick. It plays pretty quick, quick too. So that's good too. And I'm also going to leave that open. So now we're leaving quite a lot of programs open. Bearing in mind, if you're using this on an old Pentium 3 or an old Duron, and you may be doing this sort of thing, or your kids might be, so you don't have to start slowing down and actually stall. So we're using over half our RAM now. Right, but we're slowly using 4.5 a swap, so it's not too bad. So we're going to open oh, Firefox again. Now sometimes this can be a bit of a RAM hugger, as some of us will know. So I'm going to open some pages up and let it do some work. Give it a good workout. Where should we go? Oh, I don't know. Oh no. ITV for a change. We always go to the BBC. So let's give the independence a bit of a chance. There's plenty of information on this page. So that would be used quite a lot around. So that's cool. We'll go to the news page. It's more text interfaced. All that's got some pictures, etc. Still loads nice and quick, and we're still running all these programs. So I'm quite pleased with Crunch Bang, as they would say, or Crunch Bang even. We're going to minimise that. It did start to slow a little bit when I was doing this. But bearing in mind we're nearly using all our RAM, and the processor's at its limit, we ain't doing too bad really. So it's thumbs up and ticks all round, I should say, for this bit. So I'm going to start closing them down and we'll see where our RAM's gone to. So we'll close the web browser first. As soon as our web browser goes, bish bosh, in a minute, it will go down to... It doesn't say... Oh, we're going to lose 10. Hmm. So if we change lose Skype properly, as we say, we'll have to change it from the taskbar. I'll exit it there. And we'll quit it. 50 meg that we're using. That's a lot of RAM for leaving running, isn't it? So keep that in mind if you're using Skype. We're going to close the music player. Look at that, we've got loads left now. We're going to close the old GIMP up. Lovely. We're down to 85. And we're going to close Abbey Word. Right, so the basic system is using basically around 60 meg of RAM, which is pretty good. I like it already. So that's actually better than Ubuntu and Zubuntu sometimes, I think. Although they run pretty well sometimes, sometimes they don't run at all on certain systems. So anyway, the package manager. Give me a quick look at the package manager. <coughs> we have to put our password in. There we go, that was cut nice and quick, because we've got plenty of processes left now. It's the usual synaptic. Is everything there? Yeah, I'll just open one up, you can have a quick look. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy even. Or cider in my case. OK, we're going to close him down. Now, on the whole, I really do like this. It's one of the better small distros. So we're going to change that wallpaper, as I said earlier. And they give us a few options, quite a few dark ones. I'm not too fond of the dark ones. Not with my bad eyes. So what we're going to do, I think I'll choose the leaf one. Just click on it, apply, and see what happens. Ah, that's a bit of, I can read it better already. Lovely. So on the whole, this is quite a good distro. Give it a good try. If you've got an older system, Maybe 6 to 10 gig hard drive, 256 RAM, SD RAM light, no problem, it'll run lovely. Give it a go, the kids will love you forever. Nice.